We finally made it after what feels like an eternity. We got 17 comic book movies to phase two. You are gonna vote for two of them that you like the most, and those two are gonna go head to head to finally determine a champion. And I can move past this shit. I first wanna point out that I didn't cover every single comic book movie ever made. It's inconceivable for a one-man show such as this. I'd like to pour one out for the, the Punishers out there and the Dreads and the Electras and the Tank Girls of the world that I just didn't have the opportunity to talk about because I didn't want to. Not because they're bad, because I'm lazy. Let's make sure that's very clear. Without any further ado, I'm gonna announce Movie Feud's fashion, the 17 winners. I'm glad I stumbled leading into this. Really makes for good TV watching. Let's go. I've already talked about all these movies. There's no need to regurgitate nonsense or feed a dead homeless man. Instead, I'm just gonna gloss over the winners and we're gonna move past this. It's time. Doctor Strange was a fun, albeit familiar Marvel movie full of spectacle and snappy dialogue. It won with 63% of the votes, with V for Vendetta taking second at 26. Batman Returns is a fantastic stylized picture with one of my favorite Batmans to date, Michael Keaton. You voted him in with 53% of the votes over Superman 2 at 18. Blade and Hellboy are both great dark action films, but ultimately the rated R blood-sucking ass kicker won the day with 43%. It was a no-brainer that Deadpool would win, but I didn't make it easy. Having it go up against Kingsman, Kick-Ass, and Scott Pilgrim made the choice tough. Deadpool still managed to get 51% from the viewers, which is impressive. All four of those films are better than the piece of shit I'm about to talk about that managed to eke its way into Phase 2. Suicide Squad is not a good movie, but apparently enough people look past the poor writing, awful dialogue, stupid scenarios, and horseshit editing to crown it victor by 69%. Granted, its competition was just as bad, but I thought at least Batman Forever would win out the day. And I was wrong, as I often am. The Dark Knight easily trounced the other Nolan films, getting an overwhelming 83% of the votes. I don't think anyone should be surprised by that. 2005's Fantastic Four isn't a great film by any stretch, thank you, subscribe, but it's easily the best of the Fox properties so far. 59% agreed with me. Captain America Civil War gets an easy win with 76%. Ant-Man came in second with only 14, proof that a little Spider-Man goes a long way. And speaking of Spider-Man, what was I looking at over there? The Tobey Maguire sequel holds up remarkably well and easily trounced the other sequel flicks with 63%. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Out of the Shadows had some fun moments, but it wasn't enough to catapult it to the top spot. The original 1990 picture got 41% and the victory. Iron Man gets an easy win from the origin story lineups at 74%. Captain America came up second with only 10. When I feuded the X-Men films, it was a pretty sure bet that either X2 or Days of Future Past would take the crown. Because they're both terrific pictures. But that's not what happened, is it, asshole? Future evil me, you're back. Wearing the same clothes as I am because no budget. <laughs> we both know I never left. I just waited in the shadows with bated breath to tell you what I already predicted all along. X-Men Origins Wolverine won by 40%, you stupid, arrogant son of a bitch. And here we are now in the darkest of timelines where it's gonna win this whole fucking tournament. This changes nothing. Dark Knight is in the lineup. Nothing beats Dark Knight. Yeah, sure. In your timeline, maybe. But there's a storm coming, Adam. I hope you're on the right side. I'm gonna get the broom. I'll show myself out. I hope you're proud of yourselves. Over 1,300 votes made X-Men Origins Wolverine a reality as a winner. So we have this to look forward to now. The last four films to make the phase two bracket are Man of Steel with 32%. Sorry, BBS fans, game over. Spider-Man 1, 
Superman Returns, and Jim Carrey's The Mask conclude the list. Now's where we really speed things up. This is me speeding things up. There are 17 movies. <laughs> I'm holding up eight fingers. There are 17 movies in this bracket list. Only two of them are moving on for the final head-to-head. -head. So choose wisely, Grasshopper, because it's time to move on to greener pastures, and then I can do other things on this channel. You know, like other movies I could talk about besides superhero films. Thanks for joining me on this long journey, and let's make sure the proper champs make it to the final phase. Comment, vote, share my channel around with your friends, and remember, this is more than just reviews. This is more than just going to win this tournament. Mark my words. It's the Donald Trump of superhero films. People don't think it could happen. I'm getting until the bullet. It does. Oh, you'll Get. see. You'll Get out. Come on. Come on. Get out of here. Get the hell out of here, evil Adam.